Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, tomorrow is going to be Sunday and I hope that you'll be in church because God wants to bless and one of the ways he does that is, well, we assemble ourselves together. You know, the Bible speaks about this very importantly in Hebrews chapter 10. That we're supposed to be together. We're supposed to meet together for his glory and his purpose and for the strength that we have for each other. Tomorrow I'm preaching on facing and fighting discouragement and dealing with depression because this is something that's very alive in everybody's heart. And I trust if you're in the area here in Spruce Pine that you'll come by and join us at 8.30 or 11 o'clock. We'd love to have you tomorrow. You know, one of the things that life presents to us is choices, and those choices are very important. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good, but we have to make them. We have to deal with our choices day by day. And of course, today is, well, it's almost gone. I've been running around today and got back into town a little bit later on and well just much is going on but you know choices are something that well everybody's on equal ground and if you think about that for a minute because sometimes we think about well this person's uh, over here and I'm over there and I don't relate to them they don't relate to me but choices choices stand on level ground everybody has to make choices everybody has to deal with issues everybody has to deal with stuff everybody has to do that so you are the same as I am. We are the same. Everyone's the same in the choices that we have to make. Now, the choice that you make is going to be critical. The decisions you make. Now, you have to make the call. What am I going to do? Everything from what you wear to what you eat to where you go to what you believe to what you say to what you think. Everything at some point or another is a choice. And those choices are not bad choices. They don't have to be but they have to be made. They, are, they require a decision. What are you going to decide to do? What are you going to sell yourself out to do? Well, you say, I, I don't know. I don't know what's coming my way. Well, no one knows that, but the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So in the Word of God, it gives us the clarity to understand what God would have us to do, and these things are vitally important to the cause of Christ. Let me encourage you today to make sure that you make a choice worthy of your calling. What does that mean? Well, that means if you're saved, then you're saved by God's grace. If you're saved by God's grace, then you are called a Christian. Make your choices worthy of your calling, being called a Christian. What does that mean? Christ-like. Be Christ-like in how people treat you and how that you treat others and where you go and what you do and what your example is and what your testimony is going to be, make sure that you set that Christ-like example. You say, well, I don't feel like it. Well, amen for that. Get in the boat with me because we can sail across the river of worry and think about how despondent things are, but that's not going to help either one of us. We have to understand that God has given us the ability to make the right call at the right time, and today is the day of decision and today is the day of salvation. So I pray that you'll make the right one. I'd like to see you in the morning at church. If not where I am, then where you are, get in there and make a difference and God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you and goodbye.